Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we got the bottle. We got one of the bottles. I was hunting all the end of 2023. We just got it. Started 2024, literally right as I dropped my best of 2023 video, and that is Jack Daniels Single Barrel Bear Proof Rye. And we're gonna review this SOB. Before we do that though, do me that favor, like, comment, and subscribe. That helps us out a ton and we seriously appreciate the support. I just recently used Z-Biotics this New Year's Eve and not gonna lie, I felt great the next morning. Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in your gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. z produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut, where you need it most. Just remember to drink z before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. This year, I want to form more sustainable and better fitness practices. This isn't an all or nothing approach. z allows me to still go out, but also allows me to make my fitness goals happen. Go to zbiotics.com forward slash tipsy or use a QR code currently on the screen to get 15% off your first order when you use the code tipsy at checkout. Remember, this can also be applied to a subscription so you can stay ahead of the game moving forward. And no matter what, if you are unsatisfied with it, z is 100% money back guaranteed. Remember to go to zbotics.com forward slash tipsy and use the code tipsy at checkout to receive 15% off your first order. Thank you zbotics for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. This is Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. Tongue twister. Uh, tongue twister if there's ever been one for whiskey labels. That being said, this is one of my most wanted, desired, hunted, bottles or this this a barrel proof rye from jack daniels i should say not specifically this bottle but i think like three years ago or four years ago they did a barrel proof rye and it was one of the most coveted bottles from that year and ever since that i have kept my eyes out for one and then i found out that they were doing this single barrel barrel proof rye finally which is a long time coming if we're being honest like thank you jack daniels for finally getting it together this is going to be a single barrel barrel pick that i got from a costco here in arizona when i was on my travels and all this is going to be 129.1 proof and i think i personally paid like 55 bucks for it that being said that seems ridiculously low um for what it should be so i'm assuming that's just really awesome costco prices i'm gonna assume it's probably gonna go for around 75 ish dollars just like the single barrel proof tennessee whiskey does instead of the rye so let's pour this sob and let's see does it stand up to the accolades of the you know single barrel barrel proof bourbon or tennessee whiskey from jack daniels and uh does it stand up to like how much i've built it up in my head i've literally had one pour on the top of a mountain from this bottle so i wasn't really in the whole nerding out phase i literally ripped it from the bottle so this is the first time we are nosing it tasting it scoring it seeing is it worth it that being said for the 55 bucks i got it for i mean if you want to skip to the end a freaking steal but let's get into it. on the nose the coveted Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. Ooh, hello there. Hello, Dolly. Dang. That is nutty for rye, which is surprising, but like not in a bad way. It has like those dark, nutty, spicy wood sugars, brown sugar thing going on. Nice black pepper, a smidge of like a mintiness as well. Yeah, it does have that Jack Daniels nuttiness. So there is like a subtle like nuttiness that I get on it. It's not bad. It's not overwhelming. It doesn't like kill it for me, but it's just, it's, it is there. Um, and obviously it's a little banana, little banana. This literally reminds me of the bonded. If the bonded was like cranked up to like, 300,000 compared to just like the normal like cranked up to 10 
because I'm not going to lie, I didn't really love the Bonded. It was pretty decent, but it wasn't like blow my socks off. But this smells freaking incredible. It smells thick, viscous. Nice little bit of like that banana, nut bread, nice brown sugars, a little bit of like a minty spice as well as some nice black peppery spice. A little herbal, kind of like a black tea as well. There's a lot going on in this. This is a freaking, like, this is complex. On the nose, already blowing my mind a little bit. Like, this is dark, especially for a bottle that is $65, $75-ish. I'm getting a lot out of it because, honestly, it's kind of hard to find a really good rye that's intense and complex at that price point for me nowadays. Like, a lot of the ryes I really, really like that are at that price point are MGP ryes, and this is a very different flavor profile, so I'm actually really, really enjoying this. Yeah, I love that brown form and rye because it's like this... It has that caramel banana nut bread that I get on a lot of brown Foreman products because that banana is still there, but it's like with a whole bunch of other like brown sugars and then like this like herbal spicy tea with a little bit of mint thing going on, a little bit of a pepper too. Like there's a lot on this. Let's go ahead and get on the palate and see does it drink as well as it smells. Not as robust and in your face as ooh, oh I like that hug that hug's good first whiskey of the day um not burning my mouth too much um so that's kind of surprising for 129.1 proof i would have thought it would have clapped me a little bit hard that being said didn't very very nice mellow a little bit of oak still that bit of nuttiness really nice brown sugars some like it's like a browned banana starts off like this black tea, mid palate, it becomes minty and just kind of finishes off. Where at the tip of my tongue, I get a little bit of like an effervescent, like mintiness on the finish. Mmm, that is fun. Mmm. And yeah, the finish, it's a lot of mint and oak for me. I like this. I like this a lot. I mean, I kind of started the video. Um, you know, loving this bottle. Uh, so can't say I'm surprised that I'm loving this bottle. Uh, real question. What rating are we going to give it? We going to give it a, uh, I'm going to start doing the rating scale I've been doing with Jordan, um, on our live streams. If you've been watching, you understand. If not, I'm going to go over it right now. One is a don't buy two is a drink for free. Three is a buy, four is a, um, a I will pay more for it. So like uh, you're either going to go secondary for a bottle or like uh, you're going to see it at a bar and be like, hey, I really like, I like that bottle so much that I'm going to overpay for it, even though I could go to the store and buy a bottle and just drink it at home. So four is kind of like, a, I'm willing to pay more for that bottle, if you will. And then five is a, I'm going to bunker that, that thing is going to be freaking everywhere I'm leaning like a 4.5 or something like that. I don't know. I, at the price point I bought this for, because again, I bought this for 55 bucks. I'm a five on this. Like if I had way more money than I currently do, I would have bought three or four of these because there wasn't a limit. And um, I kind of want to go buy, buy a few more, even though I don't really have that kind of spare cash at the moment. Um, so I'm going to say I'm a four on this one. I'm a four. Definitely worth the 75 bucks. If I saw it at a bar, I would 100% get a pour of this. I'd probably pay 85 to 90 for this because I do think this is an incredible rye whiskey that's really, really exciting. And like I said, um, it's different from a lot of the stuff out there because a lot of the stuff I really, really like in the rye world is MGP 95.5 rye. And a lot of the stuff I have as far as like $80 ryes, it's all that stuff. So I'm really, really excited that I now have a bottle in my collection that's not just that MGP 95.5 rye. So overall, I'm going to give this a four. I think it's worth buying 100% and I think it's worth maybe paying a little bit more and especially if you can get it at a really good steal like you know sub 65 bucks I would buy multiple of 
but in realistic terms, this should be like a seventy-five dollar bottle. So like, take that as you will. In my case, I should have bought like nine. Not here nor there. That being said, that is a wrap for today's video. Please do me that favor: like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you thought about this video. Let me know what you think about the idea of these. Do you think they're going to be around, or are they going to kind of be like weird, not findable on the shelves? Also, check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. But like I said. That is a wrap for today's video. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later. Oh, that is a lot of high proof whiskey to drink at once. Oh, God, that is good, though. Very overwhelming for the senses. We'll see you later.